Now, day two of Facebook's F8 conference in, is underway in San Jose, California. And the annual developers conference kicked off Tuesday and with CEO Mark Zuckerberg detailing the company's plans to dive deep into augmented reality. Now in day two, the social media behemoth revealed it's working on building a brain-computer interface that will let you type with just your mind without invasive implants. Joining us now to discuss Bloomberg Technologies, Sarah Fry, who is live calling from the F8 conference. So mind reading tech, Sarah, hearing through your skin, Sarah, tell us more about some of these new, slightly more perhaps crazy announcements. Absolutely. So the second day of F8 is always the day where Facebook tries to blow you away with all of the crazy innovative things they're mm -hmm. thinking about. Is this going to be a product in the next year? Absolutely not. But the the Building 8 Lab, this lab that they started last year by hiring Regina Dugan from Google, this is a lab that is working on ways to, to try to not tether us so much to our phones in the future. So the next step of socializing um, may not require us to be you know, so tethered to technology. And, and the first step for that really is to make it easier to communicate telepathically. Um, and this is this is just one of the many things they're looking into. Zuckerberg has been fascinated with this kind of technology for years. Fascinated with this. We also also heard about new cameras. 360 degree cameras was something they unveiled perhaps with Samsung a little while ago, but they seem to be producing their own and handing them out free to anyone who wants one. Yeah, they as every guest of the F8 conference got a little 360 degree camera that they can clip onto their phone. Um, but beyond that, there's this there's this kind of mega camera that Facebook has been designing, um, this this um, improvement of the camera they unveiled last year. It looks like kind of like a, a black disco ball or a bug eye. And what it does is it allows you to take 360-degree film, and then when somebody watches it, they can move from the spot where they're in and still get a sense of, of the film, as opposed to most 360-degree photos we see today where you have to be in a stationary point. So they see this as a big technological advancement. And Sarah, lastly, there was a long-term vision being spelt out for AR and indeed perhaps the cooler way to look. They seem to want to make us want to wear these glasses that they might eventually give us. Right, so not the age of the you know Google Glass clips it onto your head and everyone looks like a dork. They think that <laughs> AR will not be widely applicable until you're wearing it in a way that is socially accessible. And there's nothing that's going to be socially accessible if you can't see the eyes of the person that you're talking to. So the lenses of these glasses of the future, which you know have not been developed yet, must be clear. So, that, so Facebook's giving us a little bit more insight into the, what their vision of the ideal future starts to look like in the 10-year, maybe even 20-year time frame.